yes the cry of jesus continues to hear i thirst i thirst for the dying souls let it continue to hear in your heart every minute of your life and this is the cry that was heard in the heart of mother teresa who became a source of great help and blessing and inspiration for millions of people today it's your turn and my turn to keep alive this voice of heaven this cry of cross i thirst i thirst for the dying souls i thirst for the souls to reach heaven i have done my part will you do your part in the first reading we find about adam and eve's fall in genesis chapter 3 verse 7 the lord comes down from heaven and he asks adam and eve my son where are you my daughter where are you whenever we fall in sin the first blow even whether we feel it or not it goes to our god who has created us the first slap goes to him the first laugh of satan is heard in heaven oh you created this man oh you created this woman with great love with great desire and look what have i done with him and look what i have done with her and god runs to us and god was running to adam and eve my son where are you my daughter where are you what has happened to you let's be sensitive to our god god who loves us god who cries when we move away from him and he we read in acts chapter 3 verse 19 to 20 st peter carried this burden up the lord and he explained to the first christian community who wanted to become christians that is in the first sermon where 3000 people were baptized where he communicated this beautiful truth chapter 3 of acts of the apostles verse 19 to 20 repent therefore repent therefore and turn back and turn back to your god that your sins may be blotted out that your sin will be made known to you that you can repent and return to god that times of refreshing may come hello my dear remember if you repent and return to god the time of refreshment has come to your door yes from the presence of the lord from the presence of the lord and that he may send and that he may send the christ appointed for you and not only that he will send even his son whom he has appointed for you to reconcile you with the god and with one another he says the presence of god has come adam and eve sinned against god but the presence of god came to them to forgive their sins to cleanse their sins and to bring freshness new hope for their lives but alas adam and eve they began to blame each other today so many people lose the pref, the anointing which god has given to them the grace and the strength and the blessing god has given to them by blaming each other by speaking ill of each other by murmuring at each other by even trying to harm each other they lose they make their own holes in their in the part of their lives where god has poured more blessings blessings of our health blessings of our resources all that is needed for our life 
but by murmuring with our lips not satisfied with our god not satisfied with the people whom god has given to us husband blames the wife wife blames the husband like adam and eve and they make their own holes whereby so many leakages are taking place and all the grace all the blessings all the anointing god gives to us to live a life of family to face the struggle of the family all going down and we become empty vessels god is calling us back repent that my freshness of my presence will return to you and i will reconcile you with jesus and second also he says satanic warfare will be continued jesus said to them satan has cheated you and she will she will have the grace and power of god to crush the head of the serpent and serpent you may try to hurt her who heal yes while we are on this earth the enemy will continue to fight with us it is up to man to recognize that your life is 24 hours 24 hours your god is at your door if you invite him he will come and forgive your sins with his presence he will bring freshness to your life and through the son of his jesus christ he will reconcile you with god and with one another if you don't do it the enemy is at your door and he will crush you he will defeat you he will take away everything that i have given to you your life is on a battle if you are not alert you are lost if you don't move with the god the enemy will move with you if you don't strive to hold on to god you will be in the hands of the enemy take care and choose your life and live faithfully that's what he says if we are third if we are faithful the cross is our power that's what we read in second corinthians chapter 5 verse 18 to 20 the cross will redeem us yes revelation 2 18 if you remain faithful the crown of glory is waiting for you your life is a journey your life is a battle as first thessalonian chapter 5 verse 23 to 24 says till we reach the lord take care take care of your body your soul and your spirit remain pleasing to the lord this is your life journey more than doing anything every day every minute be cautious to take care of this how is your body how is your soul how is how is your spirit let the holy spirit come through your spirit and guide your soul and your body and verse 24 he says your god is faithful if you trust him he is always faithful he will remain faithful let's then build up our lives with this great great readings of today god is calling each one of us yes god gives his people hope faith and salvation will you accept him and live by him close your eyes and surrender your life to him God gives his people strength if we believe 